Hi, good evening, guys. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good night. Hi, Katia, Magdiel, Mario, welcome, Luis and Emerson. I'm driving home this way, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Now I know that you're not going to be available for a couple of minutes. Thank you for letting me know, Emerson. All right. Uh, well, we're about to start. Thank you guys for joining. Let me tell you that I feel very cold. I feel very, very cold. How do you feel? Oh, how are you? How is everything today? Tell me, how is everything today? It's been raining. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 I saw the uh, you are suspended for okay. uh, what class? I was uh, I thought yes. that the, the class uh, um, have been suspended. Yeah, no, not today. Because, uh, yes, because no, the, the, the government government said that they are all the class are suspended online and presential yes they they posted they posted that news on sunday night i think and uh but that news only applies to uh, schools or places that are attached to the government or to minet and english comparativo is not really attached to minet so it doesn't apply yes it's only for universities, private schools, and public schools that are attached to Minet. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, my dear. Okay. Yes. But it's, it's, it's raining, and, and, and I is. think that many it people has, has some problems. And I know, I know, I know. Their connection or internet yes. or electrician. Mm -hmm. Or exactly. if, right. they, if they live... Uh, Close to rivers, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah, th there might be there might be a connection problems, uh, a tree falling on the cables, uh, slow Wi-Fi, slow internet, uh, like not not too much, uh, not so much a signal from the companies because it's cloudy, so the, the signal is is different when it is cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. But it is what it is. <laughs> I can do nothing about it. Yeah, I just there's there's nothing I can do about it. I'm actually not working. Uh, I told you that I work at a school, so I'm not working. I've been uh, laying on my bed the whole day, doing nothing, just trying to sleep, resting, and uh, well, <laughs> and I'm I, I feel right. I feel good right now. I feel good right now. I feel well rested. I feel with energy. So <laughs> it's it's good. Yes. All right. Let me see. Let me just confirm some over here. Katia, Mario, and uh, Elizabeth. Are you guys going to be as listeners? Let me know, please. Good evening. Yes, because I'm still working. You are still working, okay? Thank you yes. for letting me know. If you can participate later on, let me know, please. All right? Okay. Yes. Thanks. Hi. What was the question? Sorry. The question is that if you're going to be as a listener, because I, I see that, that before your name, you have a uh, oyente in Spanish right there. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello, Rafael and Mario. Welcome. Ah, de verdad. Eso va a ser un poquito. 
Okay. Well, we are nine right now. Okay, let's begin. We begin with the attendance. Thank you guys for joining today's session. It's the second session of the module. I'm really thankful uh, to you for, for joining and being here today. I know it's it's difficult, you know, because of the weather conditions right now. It's raining. It has been raining the whole day today. It hasn't stopped raining. Uh, maybe it will continue tomorrow and Thursday. We do not know. So, but let's do this, all right? Let me see. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. I do some a moment. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. He's, he's driving. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. No. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Tatia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Hi. Thank you. Presence. Yes. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Fabricio. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez López. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you, thank you. Present teacher, Mario. Uh, tengo problemas. Okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you. I got it, thank you. I got it, thank you, thank you. Don't worry, don't worry. Raul Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. And uh, Victor Noé Bonilla Portillo. So let me see if there's just nine, well, 10 people. Emerson is there. Oh, Diego Jose just got here. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. I'm late. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. The Sorry. good thing is that you're here. All right. Uh, well, uh, welcome, Rafael. I do not remember if you were here yesterday. I think you were not here yesterday. And Mario, welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. I did not see you yesterday. All right, we're going to start. Let me share today's presentation. Let me know if you see the presentation, please. Let me know. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, thank you. I can thank see. You. Thank you. Today, today we are saying goodbye to October forever. I mean, this year, 2020, uh, 2023. It's still, uh, it's uh, October 20, uh, 31st, sorry. Tuesday with only one Y. 
Today is day number two or class number two. Thank you guys for joining. Let's begin with this. Uh, we have uh, two pending activities from yesterday's session because we, did, we didn't have enough time to finish the activities from the, 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 the lesson. So let's begin with those two activities. The first one or activity number five is the first one for, uh, for today. It says there, read and label the statements below. What are they describing? Advantages or disadvantages of, hold on, of e-commerce. Write an A for advantages and write D for disadvantages. So what we are going to do in this part or in this exercise is that we're gonna, we're gonna place, we're gonna place letter A or letter D in the brackets right here. For example, more reach to customers, there are no geographic limitations. What is that? An advantage or disadvantage? Well, hey, you're going to- An advantage. Okay? Yes, you're going to choose. You're going to choose. For this activity, because it is very easy, I am going to give you two minutes to work on the activity individually. And then we are going to share uh, what you have and we're going to agree on the advantages and disadvantages, all right? So guys, two minutes to do this, read the item or the sentence and decide if that sentence is A or D. Two minutes, go, go for it, go, two minutes. Good evening. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Number one, I want you. I want you to read the sentence or the item first, and then you give me the the answer A or D, advantage or disadvantage. Okay. Let's do that. Magdiel, can you please start? Okay, number one, I think is the uh, letter A. Prevent okay, read, read it, please. More reach to customer that are not geographic limitations. Guys, do you agree with Magdiel? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so we all agree that it is an advantage. 
more reach to customers, there are no geographic limitations. Excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Very good, very good. Rafael, can you read number two, Rafael? Anyone good or bad can easily start a business. It's an advantage. Okay, it's an advantage. All right, all right. Anyone good or bad can easily start a business. All right, we got it. You got it. Thank you. I think everybody agrees with, with uh, Rafael. All right. Thank you, Rafael, for reading and participating. Luis Fabricio, read the third one. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Uh, customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that is a disadvantage. Okay, you think it is a disadvantage. All right. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Fabricio? Yes. Yes. Okay. So number three is, excuse me, letter D, disadvantage. All right. It's a disadvantage. Customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. All right, it's it's not always like that. Yes. Number four, Katya, can you read number four? Thank you, Katya. Okay, uh, low operational cost uh, uh, and better quality of service for me is advantageous. It's an advantage. Advantage, yeah. Okay, low operational costs and better quality of services. Guys, do you agree with Katya? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's right. Yes. All right. Yes. It's an advantage. Very good. Number five. Let me see. Diego, read number five. Thank you, Diego. Okay. Easy to start and manage a business. Um, a, advantage. Okay. Advantage. Very good. Very good. Easy to start and manage a business, advantage, very good. And the last one, number six, let me see. Mauricio, are you there? Can you help us out with the last one? Okay, okay. There, are no, there are no sales when the website is down. For me, it's disadvantage. It's something negative, right? Exactly, yes. disadvantage, yes, disadvantage. There are no sales when the website is down. Okay, Teacher, I'm, yes. I'm not sure with the second. Answer. Number two. Because I think that if you are a bad person, you can start a business like selling drugs or something like that, you know? That is true, that is true. But it says there anyone, anyone uh, good or bad can easily start a business. It is true. It's an advantage for people, for good people, <laughs> for good people. Um, actually, no, it's 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 an advantage for, for both. But, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yes, I, I say, have a friend that, uh, that he is, so he sell. Um, don't say that. Uh, especiales. Oh, no. Brownies. Uh, but I think, yes. I, I think those ones are, are not that illegal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. If I'm not mistaken, guys, these these uh items uh appear on the first activity on the platform. If I'm not mistaken, this ones. So you're gonna see them again. Okay, thank you guys for your participation. And remember, I told you yesterday that with advantage and disadvantage, you have two options. I mean, two options when it comes, uh, uh, when it, when you pronounce it, you can say advantage or advantage or disadvantage or disadvantage. That is up to you. You can decide which one to use. I prefer to use advantage and disadvantage. If you want to say advantage, disadvantage, it's it's okay. It's fine. All right. Now. Uh, part advantage is like, sir. Yes, tell me. Advantage is like a uh, British, right? Advantage. You can say that. You can say that. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Number six, your turn. Write, it says, it says there, write a 10 line paragraph about the two advantages and disadvantages of e commerce. Which ones? Which ones? <laughs> Which ones? Well, the ones that are in the book, let me show them to you again. Let me highlight the first one. The first one is, where is it? This one. This is the, the first advantage. We want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. That is one advantage. The second one is, uh, Customers can buy your products 24-7 through our automated platform. Yes, this is the second one. It says customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform. And we have another one here. Well, this one is not really an advantage. The first one that I, I, I highlighted, this one. But it is, it's kind of an, an advantage. See, how I remove this back. And the other advantage is this one. They are also able to compare products and prices. Okay, those are the two advantages that we were working on yesterday. And it also, it, the activity also needs two disadvantages. And those are, you may want to let different company, a different company, hold on. Look, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and the storage of your products. That is one. Why is this a disadvantage? Because you have to pay the company and you're spending money on, on a different place. So it's bad. And the other disadvantage is this one. There, there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes the con consumers disappointed. So in the 10-line ten, the ten paragraph that the, uh, activity number six is asking for, you are going to talk, you're going to talk about those four, well, those two advantages and those two disadvantages, all right? Guys, let's begin. I am going to give you around seven minutes to do that. Seven or eight minutes to do the paragraph, to write the paragraph. And I'm going to leave it here, there, okay? Go ahead, let me just, uh, set the timer right now. Eight minutes. Where is it here? Okay, starting now. People, go ahead. Begin. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here. Hi, hi, me escucha? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, there's a blackout over here. I have no electricity right now. And I just connected my, my computer with the, the cell phone. Uh, my camera is going to be off because <laughs> I don't have uh, electricity, so you cannot see anything. Um. Okay, it's back. What view? But just wait, wait for the Wi-Fi to, to, to load again. 
I'm sharing the, the book again. Can you see it? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just give, give me give me a minute. I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi because my 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 signal on my cell phone is not really cool, not really good right now. So, not good. Okay, let me just see if it is working now. All right, I think it's back. Let me see. Okay, I'm back. All right. Can you see the book? Yes, teacher. Okay, continue, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry for the inconvenience. I mean, if you have any questions, I'm here.
Guys, are you ready? Hello? Not yet, teacher. I think so, teacher. You think so? Not yet, this uh, what they always saying. All right. All right. Not yet, not yet. Okay, let's begin sharing. Who wants to start? A volunteer. Anyone, hello? Hello coach, um, I have a question. Okay, what is uh, your question? What is, the, what is the exercise in this case? I will read or what? The activity that we're working on is the activity number six, this one. We are writing a, par a 10 line paragraph about the two advantages and two disadvantages that are in the conversation above. Which ones? This ones. This one, a uh, customer can buy products uh, 24 seven through, uh, through an automated platform and they are also able to compare products and prices and the negative part or the drawbacks you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products and there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all which makes consumers disappointed so we're working on a 10 line paragraph about these four oh these two advantages and these two disadvantages Yes. Oh, it's okay. Um, I will do that because I already connect in the last five minutes ago. Okay, like five minutes ago. Don't worry, don't worry. You're going to be the last one, okay? But I... Yes, you're going to be the last okay, one. Okay, I will try. Okay. okay. Rafael, yes. are you done? No, yes, teacher. Give me two or three minutes, most please. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, please. The question. What is your question? Uh, a paragraph of ten lines for both cases, or? Yeah, I think it's for which both. one. No, for both. For both. Okay. Yes. Are you ready, Luis? Mauricio, Diego, Magdiel, Katia, ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, Ronald. Hello, Yulisa. Welcome. I didn't see you there. <laughs> thank you for joining. Magdiel, go ahead, you start. 
Okay. Um, when up, when uh, vintage low operation costs and better quality of service, and you don't have you don't have to use a specific place to sell. And that could be a, a advantage advantages. But if you and a disadvantage, it could be if you buy something from far, it could be difficult to get warranty. That they are. Is that all? Again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Thank you for sharing. Excellent. Excellent. Katya, continue, Katya. Go on. Okay, uh, the commerce for me is the way to buy and sell very easy through your comfort without having to go out and receive the products you want in your home, work, or any place you are. But sometimes you need to see, study, touch the product, and if you shop online, you have a disadvantage. So you need to be clear what is the best way to shop, and obviously depends on the product, your time, and your accessibility. Right. All right. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Katya, for sharing. Excellent. Very good. Very Thank good. You. Let me see Mauricio Edgardo. Well, for me, an advantage is for the customer or when they are, are when they have the option to compare the products and prices. But uh, the disadvantage for the seller is uh, the seller has to to have the best price to offer the for the customers, or sometimes uh, the product is, is is the better, but uh, some customers try to get an, an offer a discount. For me, that is a, some a disadvantage. All right, all right, excellent, Edgardo. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Good idea, good idea, good one, good one. Thank you, thank you. Let me see, Mauricio. All right. And in the case of this advantages uh, to sell the pe to sell to people who doesn't visit them in their business, as well as selling twenty four seven online, helps their business uh, grow and lower cost for them. Uh, in the case of disadvantages, uh, both cause costs to rise, and eventually the the possible discontent of the company and the final. Con uh, Consumers. Okay. All right. Thank you for, for your opinion, Luis. Thank you very much. Ronald, are you ready? Uh, yes. Uh, so in some advantages of e-commerce is that it's possible to sell to clients that are, are in other geographies and are not able to visit the store. Meanwhile, they can be in other country, a state, department, or whatever location. Also, it's possible for clients to compare and check many items at the same time, looking for the best option according to prices, features, or any other factors. Some disadvantages in the e-commerce is that as the company is growing, it is necessary to hire or dedicate a special team to manage online orders and clients' uh, claims. Therefore, most of the time it's needed to hire a third-party company to manage it. Also, it's needed to warranty an effective shipping service to avoid experiment deliveries in bad conditions, which could imply dissatisfaction and disappointment in clients. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent, Ronald. Thank you for sharing. Good idea. Awesome, awesome. Very good, very good. Thank you. Let's continue. Diego, go ahead, Diego. Share your idea, your opinion, or your point of view. Sure, teacher. Um, the e-commerce, it's a good opportunity for everyone that is trying to start a new business because it gives you the opinion to, uh, the option, sorry, to promote your products on the social media. Another thing is that the e-commerce can help you to connect with people that it's away from you. But like other good things, there are many problems with this new type of service. For example, if you are a customer, 
you can be 100% sure that the product that you are buying it's coming for you in good conditions or it's exactly uh, what you want but in the other hand is if you are a seller you can be totally sure, sure that the customer will pay you on time if it case i think that it that i did it bad but <laughs> okay. i grow something it's okay. Excellent. Excellent, Diego. Thank you for sharing your idea. That was good. That was good. Yes. Thank you. Rafael, are you ready now? Yes. All right. Go for it. Well, by selling products through e-commerce, enrich customers who are far from your company and expand your business beyond geographical boundaries. With the e-commerce, e stores and it can generate income even where you are not working. A customer can place orders at any time of the day or night, which means you can make sales while you are asleep. One disadvantage of the e-commerce is low loss of control. When you outsource your shipping and logistics operation to a third party provider, you lose control over the entire process. This can lead to issues with quality control, a customer service, and other aspects of your business. All right, all right. Good opinion. Rafael, thank you for sharing it. Amazing, thank you, thank you. And uh, well, Ulysses, I think you are, as a listener, I can see the, the word listener next to your name. Uh, so we're just missing Eric. Eric, are you okay, ready? Okay. Yes, of course. I have um, a couple of ideas. Okay. Um, in my case, one of these uh, advantage is that you can compare um, prices, options, brands, color of product in a few minutes when you are using e-commerce and uh, you can ask for delivery and uh, and the product is can come comes in a few minutes in, in your in your home mm -hmm. and uh, a disadvantage is that you can see the current status of the product when you are asked for it and uh, in social media, in this case. Okay. That's it. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, Eric. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Okay. Thank you guys for your ideas. You have shared very good ideas. Yes. What you have said is completely right. So let's carry on with the next activities. And uh, I had this term, it business. What is it business all about? Or what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind when you see the words or, or this expression, it business? Tell me, what comes to your mind? It business. Tell me, tell me, if business, what do you think this is? Well, when I when I think about a business, I I consider that it's not just for Facebook Marketplace or Instagram. It's about all apps that we have now on 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 our cell phone, like a a a, a, a places to 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 go vacation or to travel or another thing like hotels or drugstores or other things and e-business is the old business that we have nowadays cryptos etc and and another things that is for me for my opinion okay okay Mauricio thank you for sharing your opinion excellent do we have any more opinions about e-business 
Hello, hello. I think that is everything related to business through electronic trans transactions. Transactions. Transactions, sorry. Okay, it's it's pretty much anything related to business trans transactions. Okay, that's a good opinion, Luis. Thank you for sharing it. Anybody else? I think that e business, unlike um, e-commerce, um, it's um, enfocated in or by enfocated in yes right in only the uh, sell or buy products uh, or services but e-commerce is a concept of general um, uh, I don't know how can I say that um, but E-commerce is in general, but e-business is more specific, you know? Okay. All right. All right. I understand your, your, your point of view. Thank you, Diego, for sharing it. Anybody else that would like to share anything or say anything about this? Yes. I think, teacher, that uh, any businesses will uh, like uh, Netflix, for example, Hulu, or uh, Amazon Prime that it's a services based on on internet on network services, not a physical uh, product. Okay, okay. Now you're, you're, we're not only talking about buying and selling items or products. We're talking about providing services and more things like what Rafael said, like Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and uh, Star Plus. A lot of a lot of uh, things that, that are sold online now okay let's take a look at the definition of your business it's this look uh can anyone read a volunteer if business the definition of it me teacher thank you thank you i'm to go okay uh e-business e-business is the electronic connection of business operations to customers suppliers employees and other partners it includes, but but not limited to, product marketing, order entry, inventory tracking, order fulfillment, and after sales support. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for reading. A business is the electronic connection of business operations to customers, suppliers, employees, and other partners. It includes, but not limited to, product marketing, order entry, inventory track, tracking, and order fulfillment, fulfillment, and after sales support. That's a business all about. As you can see, is this one is not about buying and selling items or, or clothes or products, okay? That one is e-commerce. E-commerce is all about selling and buying things, and a business is not about that. It's about dealing with customers, the operations with suppliers, with employees, and any other company company that is related to, to your company. But let, let's take a look. Look, right here I have a, a difference of e-commerce and e-business because they they might sound the same, uh, but they are not really, really or entirely the same. They are similar. They are similar. The first thing that we have here is the meaning, the meaning of them. Can anyone read the, the e-commerce definition? Anyone? Uh, e-commerce, it refers to performing online commercial transactions and activities over the internet. All right, thank you, Rafael, for reading. Let me read it again. It says, it refers to performing online commercial transactions and activities over the internet or internet. A business. What is a business all about? Can anyone read a business? Yes, thank you. It refers to performing every type of business activity through the internet. Okay, it refers to performing every type of business activity through the internet. Yes. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for that. Scope. Narrow concept, 
wide, uh, that's an e-commerce, narrow concept. And then we have the e-business is a wider concept. Now, what is narrow? Narrow is specific, specific con concepts. Uh, so basically, uh, e-commerce is all about, it's mostly, mostly about selling and buying items, products like shoes, uh, shirts, I don't know, anything. And a business is not about, uh, it's not about that. It's about that, but it has a wider, as this there, a wider concept. Because it involves, it involves, as you can see, it does, it does involve customers, but it also involves suppliers, the employees, the staff, other partners, yes, and uh, many more things that are related to that, like inventory tracking, after sales support, and uh, well, that's very much what e business is all about. All right, transaction, commercial transactions are carried out. Business transactions are carried out. Commercial is about buying and selling, and business is not about buying and selling. Business is just negotiating with other companies or negotiating with suppliers, with customers, of course, but but it's not really, really focused on only on customers. Yes. And uh, it doesn't uh, show me the whole thing over here. E-commerce transactions are, and it says, if business transactions are not, it doesn't show me the whole the whole thing. All right. But we, we get the idea, we get the idea, right? Pretty much e-commerce is all about selling and buying, and e-business is not really or entirely about buying and selling. It involves uh, more more things. All right. But it says here, we have we have two questions. How many how many online businesses operating in your country can you name? And uh, are there any e-commerce businesses doing business only through through phone apps? Quest, first question again. How many online businesses operating in your country can you name? And are there any e-commerce businesses doing business only through phone apps? What can you say? What can you say, guys? Well, I don't know if it's still working on that kind of uh, commerce, but I remember when the, the, the lockdown was on, uh, BD and friend, they they got a, a, a online shop like a online shopping mm -hmm. in order to avoid the physical contact. You know, yes, yes, of course. Those could be okay. All right, all right. That's a good one. Anyone else? Anyone else? For example, pedidos ya. Yeah? Or okay. Uber? Well, actually, actually, to to good one, good one, because uh, this one, this one, Pedidos ya, and the other one, I can't really remember the other one. Uh, uh Uber, Uber, it's that one, that one, exactly, exactly, that one, that one. Uh, well, I remember, I remember the pandemic when it is it began and the the quarantine and everything, and I remember that before the pandemic or the quarantine, this company. Maybe they did exist, but but it they were not very very famous or or uh, relevant back then. They they became relevant after the pandemic or during the pandemic and after the pandemic, right? Pedro's giant and Hugo, and uh, well, Hiro Tulutan. There are many of those now. I see them everywhere in every in every corner. There's a guy with. Uh, from Perugia, like everywhere, everywhere. Yes. All right. What else? What else? What Uh, examples of uh, of e-business. 
Yes, the, the question, the question, the, how many online businesses are operating in your country can you name? And the other one, are there any commerce mm -hmm. businesses? Um, I think, for example, e online bi businesses that are only have operations online, Uber, Pedido eh, Ya, eh, and this app that, that now is like an, uh, a digital bank, Nico, that you can in super selectors you see that they they have the POS. Uh, I this is one example in e-commerce business doing business only throw uh throw only throw phone apps. I think that uh, Uber could be an example that are only functioning via via mobile phones. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yes, you're right. Uh, yeah. Um, another might be. Um, for example, new the new app. Which one? New app. It's like a wallet. Is it from a uh, from app? Agricola? No, no, it's from Cus Cuscatlan. Oh uh, yeah, from that from Cuscatlan. Yes, yes. I think I had it, but I I erased it. <laughs> can can it be? Nico, Nico is the other one. Which one? Nico. Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that It's like that a, a wallet. A payment it's, method. It's like a wallet, okay. Yeah, it works, works. Yes. All right. We got it, we got it. Thank you guys for that one, for your opinions. You have mentioned uh, uh, the most relevant or famous or popular businesses operating in the country that are using the, the e-commerce method only through the cell phone or mobile phones. All right. Look at this. Building vocabulary. Put a check next to the word that you are familiar with. Then match the words, all the words to the corresponding meanings. Compare your answers with a partner. So, the first thing that we're going to do is check. Check the words that you know or that you are familiar with. If you're not familiar with the word, let me know. I will tell you what the word means. And uh, after that, we're going to go and do the matching. All right? So let's begin. If you know what platform is, check. All right? Check. If you know what e what M commerce. Sorry, I said M. What M commerce is? Check. All right. If you don't know, let me know. Yes. Check if you know what local e-commerce is. If you don't know what it is, let me know. The next one is auctions. If you know what it is, check. All right. And the last one, bids. If you know what bids are, check. All right. If you don't know, let me know what they are. I mean, what, what, let me know, <laughs> let me know. We got it? Got it. All right, thanks. Very good, very good. Now, we got, we got some uh, definitions here. Let me read, we have already read the, 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 the words over here. Let me read the definitions and then I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to match them. A public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. Electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones or mobile phones. It is a software, software application that allows online businesses to manage their website sales and operations. It is the offering of a price, especially an auction, at an auction. A kind of e-commerce focused on the customer's geographical location. There you go, guys. I'm going to give you three minutes to match this. Put letter A over here or here or here, whatever you want. Okay, yes. Read platform and then look for the definition for platform and place letter A in the square, All right? Go for it, three minutes, guys.
Guys, are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Magdiel, do you have a question? No, I have a first one. Okay. Let's begin then. Let's begin. Read platform and read the uh, definition. Options, a public sale in which goods or property are sold to the highest bidder. It is you okay? Auctions, right? Auctions, right? Auctions. Okay, auctions, a public sale in which goods and property or property are sold to the highest bidder, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, do you agree with Magdiel? No. I disagree, teacher. Okay, you disagree? All right, all right, it's okay, it's okay. Um, he, said, he said auctions or platform? No, no. Auction. Auction is letter letter D. I mean, auction letter is letter D. D, and D goes uh, in the first one. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, okay. In that I'm case, okay. It's, it's okay. Yes. 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 I I asked him to read platform, but he read auction because it, it's the first definition. That's why. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah. okay. Yes. Yes. But I'm, he, he's... Reply. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I'm not sure about that. I think that is the letter A, a bit, not the option. Oh, letter E, bits. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is because uh, down, uh, it says uh, the one, two, three, four, five, the five sentence. It is the offering of a price, especially at an auction. Uh, it, uh, Talking about an auction, uh, uh, the auctions, no, uh, about a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the reason why I think that it's the uh, letter A, not letter D. Okay, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe. We, we, we're gonna see later, that later on, okay? Take it easy. We're gonna see that. We're gonna ch check if everything is correct or not. All right, uh, Rafael, yes, Rafael, read platform and read the definition for platform. Okay, a uh, platform. It is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their, their website, sales, and operations. Okay, guys, do you agree with Rafael? Yes. Yes, I am agree. Yes, I agree with him. Rafael suggests that is the third, the third one, this one. Yes, platform, it is a software application that allows online businesses to manage their website sales and operations good good excellent thank you thank you diego read m commerce and the definition okay m commerce i think that is electronic commerce conduct on mobile phones. No. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Guys, what do you think? No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Kathy agrees. Who disagrees? Well, for me, well, I local e-commerce is the a kind of e-commerce focus on the consumer's geographical location. Oh, no, no, but we're, we're talking about M-commerce, letter B, the second one. Oh, the B-com, oh, sorry, the second one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The electronic commerce conducted by mobile phones. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. So yes, 
Yes. Diego is right. Electronic commerce conducted on mobile phones or mobile phones. Yes, M commerce. That the M the M starts for mobile, right? Mobile commerce. Oh, mobile. That's what the M stands for. All right. Rodal, can you read the, the, the number three or letter C? Okay, local e-commerce. A kind of e-commerce focused on the consumer's geographical location. Okay. Guys, do you agree with uh, Ronald? Yes. And of course, of course. Okay. A kind of e-commerce focused on the consumer's geographical location. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. He is right. You're right. It is correct. Please, Javier, read the last one. Auction. No. He is right. Auction. But that one is answered already. Please read the, read the, the letter B, letter E, sorry. Bits. Bits, yes. Please, Javier. Not available right now. Okay, it's okay. It's not a problem. Mauricio? Yes. Uh, bit, bit. It's the offering of a prize, especially at an auction. Okay. It is the offering of a prize, especially at an auction. Yes. That's a bit. Sorry, letter E. And now, if you compare auction and bid bid is the money the money you uh the money you offer okay the money you offer that's bid an auction is the the sale the, the place the public sale like it says here a public sale that's the auction and the bid is the money that you offer the amount of money that you money that you offer yes. in another word it's like a regatear yes yes that's the one. That's okay. the one. Yes. There's gotta be another word for that. Yes. I can't remember right now. Bit. Bit. Do you have any questions? No. No, it's a label. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, look at this. Label the descriptions with the correct types of e-commerce. For this, we're going to go back to this. And I'm going to show you we already did this part. We finished this part. Now, we got the, the six types of e-commerce. We also have them. We also have them on the on the on the book, but we're going to read a different definition from the one that we have in the book. Yes. Now we have a B two B, B two C, D two C, C two C, and C two B, and the last one is B two C. Yes. B two B, business to business. Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. Let's see what they are what they are all about. Who can read number one? B2B. B2B Anyone? business to business. Thank you, thank you. Go. Uh, it's a business model that provides products from one business businesses to another. Okay, there you go. Look. The B2B or the business to business is a business model that provides products from one company or from one business to another company or to another business. That easy, all right? That easy. Very good, very good. The next one, B2C. Who can read that one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Mauricio. Go ahead. B2C is the most common type of business model where business, businesses sell products and services uh, directly to individual online shoppers. There you go. There you go. Thank you for reading, Fabricio. 
B2C or business to consumer is the most common, common type of business model where businesses sell items, products, and many things and services directly to individual online shoppers. Meaning, when I buy something from Adidas, from, from Samsung, from Nike, okay, I buy the product from the company. So that's, that's the business, the business to me, all right, to the consumer. Thank you, thank you. D2C, direct to customer, to consumer. Yes, to consumer. Uh, Tell me this one. Me. Uh, Thank you, Ronald. D2C, Go. direct to consumer. D2C is a business model that allows companies to sell their product directly to their to their end customers. Okay. D2C is a business model that allows companies to sell their products directly to their end customers customers all right the next one is c to c consumer to consumer who can read that one me teacher okay thank you Emerson, for that for, for offering go okay um c to b consumer to business c to b is a business model in which consumers sell goods or services to companies okay there you go thank you for reading C2C business is a digital platform, that one, right? Yes, platform for individuals to sell their own items directly to other consumers. Okay, in this case, the most common uh, example or the best example that we can mention is the marketplace on Facebook. You just go to marketplace and you find uh, different uh, people selling their products or selling their, their things, yes. C2B, who can read that one? C2B. Customer to business and C2B is a business model in which customers sell goods or services to companies. Okay, thank you. C2B consumer to business is a business model in which consumers sell goods or services to companies. Well, this is not very, very, very common, you know. It's not very common to see this. Uh, where have I seen this? A person selling to a company? I cannot think of examples right now. And the uh, last one. For example, I can I can mention uh, Super Selectors doesn't have tortillas or tamales. And some, some uh, emprendedores sell that products. Entrepreneurs. Yes, okay. they they sell their products. For me, that is an example for C two B. All right, all right, okay, we got it, we got it. Thank you, thank you. The last one, the last one. Who can read the last one? Me. Yes. Go no. ahead, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Who? <laughs> I said, go ahead, but I don't know who's reading. Go ahead, Rafael. Okay, thanks. Uh, B2G, business to government. B2G involves selling and, and promoting goods, services, and information to government entities. All right, all right. Thank you, Rafael, for reading. B, uh, is it like a dot over there? I don't know. So, sorry. So, business to government involves selling and promoting goods, services, and information to government entities. There you go. Those are the six types of e-commerce, very easy to understand. Now let's go back to the book. And in the book, we have only four of them. We don't have six, we have four of them. Consumer to consumer, business to business, consumer to business, and business to consumer. We don't have the government over here, all right? I want you guys to, to write or to place the, how can I say this? The concept, well, the words here in the space, okay? According to their definition, read the definition and then place the one that you think is correct. 
All right. And I'm going to give you another three minutes to do this. Go, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Let's begin with the number one mentioned C2C, B2C, C2B, or B2C, and read the definition. A volunteer, go ahead. Be a teacher. Thank you, Fabricio. Go. Uh, 
The first one is B2B. It refers to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Mm -hmm. So you say that it is? B2B. Okay, B2B. Let me write it down. It is? Oops. Sorry. Okay, there you go. This one, right? B2B. Let me put it right there. What did I do? That's the one. Okay, B2B, business to business. It refers to business to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Thank you. Who can read number two? Me. Tatia, thank you for offering. Go ahead. Okay, number two. Transactions conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end users of its product or service. For me, it's B2C. Okay, B2C. Business to consumer. Let me write it down. Yes. Transactions conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end users of its products and or services. Okay, thank you for reading, Katia. Number three. Anyone? Number three? Yeah, me teacher. Go. Uh, for me, is C to C. It is a business model uh, that facilitates an environment, usually online, where its customer can trade with each other. Okay, so it is C to C, right? Right, C to C. Okay, it is a business model that facilitates an environment that you should, sorry, usually online where customers can trade with each other. Okay, yes, thank you. And the last one, number four, who can read it? Who can read number four? My teacher. Thank you, Miguel, go ahead. Customer business C to B. Read it, read it. It is when a large number of individuals make their service or products available for purchase from companies seeking personally these types of services or products. Okay, thank you for reading my bill. It says, it is when a large number of individuals make their services or products available for, for purchase for companies seeking precisely the, these types of services and the products. So it is, consumer to business. All right, that's the one. Guys, do you have any questions about this? Any questions? No, teacher. All right, now we're going to continue down here with the next part. Let me erase this because we got it. And it says there, group work. Think of a popular online business and describe how it interacts with consumers. Describe the advantage of, it, of this business model for consumers and the disadvantages business owners may face if they apply it. 
Then it says there, number five, organize a brief presentation of the rule of the results of your discussion. Okay, pretty much what we're going to do is this. We're going to think of a product, popular products in product in the Salvador or anywhere else. It can be somewhere else like in Europe or, or Asia or in any place. You're gonna think about this product, but it has to be online. And you have to mention or tell me how this, this company or how this business communicates with the consumers, all right? And then you're going to mention or describe the, the advantages of this business, business with consumers. And you're going to mention the drawbacks or the negative parts of this business the, or the owners, uh, what they face with, with consumers or when they apply, all right? So we're gonna do part number four and part number five together, yes? Do you understand activity? Guys, do you understand the activity? Can you teach Yes. Okay. You, you got it there. You got to go to page number 11. And on page number 11, you're going to see what you're going to do. All right, you got it there. Just read it and just and just do it. All right. We're not so many people, and uh, let me tell you that Mario, Julissa, and Elizabeth are not available. So I think I'm gonna have only three groups, and in each group there are going to be only three people or three participants. So I need you guys to to share your ideas with your classmates to discuss. The, the, the products to discuss the advantages and disadvantages. And later on, you're going to present that. If you want, you can use, well, I will, I will uh, recommend using the PowerPoint presentation is for this, if you want to, yes. I think it's better for that, for the TV, the presentation. Hold on. They create four four rooms. I'm going to include the, the, the listeners in one group. And then I'm going to Okay, there are going to be four people in one group. Guys, let's go, let's go. Go, go, join the groups and work. Please share your ideas, talk to each other, discuss the activity. And I'm going to bring you back later on. Guys, please join Ronald, Luis, Mauricio.
Luis Javier and uh, Ronald, did you did you get the notification? I think that we can we can talk about Amazon or eBay. Mm, okay, we can use that. So let or me... for example, and then, I have a I have an idea. For example, AliExpress. AliExpress. Um, oh man. Yeah. Has a lot of advantages because it's really cheaper than other platforms, but it has a lot of disadvantages. For example, you can buy something and uh, you have the possibility to don't receive anything. Yeah. To pay but, uh... and and wait wait the product and didn't receive it don't receive it yeah that's right well for example well how how you interact with the with the con, con to the customers well you know the aliexpress is it's a e platform you know what what so we AliExpress is like a an e platform, a platform, e commerce platform. Ah uh, yes, yes. Because uh, AliExpress is not, I mean, it's a consumer to consumer, because uh, you as a, a a person you can offer your products in uh, using AliExpress as an in intermediate. Ah uh, yes, yes. So let me type it so it's a. Or do do we have, do we have to use our, a B two C, or it can be an option AliExpress, or or only B two C. I think it's B two C because, uh, well, or maybe I don't know if it can be, can be combined like B two C and C two C because I. I usually checks checking the all the goods on the AliExpress, and I, I saw a, a a tiny stores and some regular people offer offering uh, their their goods too. So I think uh, it could be business to consumer too. Maybe we can ask to the teacher about it. So let me let me uh, write down. Here B to C, okay. So it's up the to you, you, you decide. It's up to you. Oh, okay. Okay, teach. So, well, the advantages of this kind of business, um, there are no, there are not uh plenty of, oh. Uh, Trust. Pero mm -hmm. no sé si aplique realmente cuál sea más, más adecuado. Ah, ¿no? porque aquí está el teacher. Ah, ah sí, ah. ahí está. No lo había visto. Teacher, we can ask you something. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, we have a, a well, no, no estamos decididos. We don't know what is the best option to explain, uh, for example, to take a marketplace, like a uh, example, or uh, e-bank, e-banking. For example, uh, e-banking agricola, mi banca. Like online banking, you mean? Yeah, like, like an app. Yeah, you can, do, you can do that. Ah, okay, okay, thank yes. you. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, you can talk Teacher, about that. Aprovechando que, que entró, y, eh, y se lo voy a decir en español porque es más fácil que se lo diga en español que piense las palabras en inglés. Right, este, right. Eh, 
sería posible que al final, como siempre se queda alguien, que me queda yo para consultarle algunas cosas, como por ejemplo, me mencionaba Katia que el mayor problema que yo tengo cuando intento hablar algo, aparte que no lo practico, lo único que practico es disque cantando canciones en inglés, es ordenar las palabras y sí, me falta vocabulario. Todavía lo entiendo mucho mejor de lo que lo puedo me puedo expresar, tal vez la pronunciación a veces no sea tan mala, pero eh, sí, el ordenar las palabras a veces me confunde y por eso a veces yo estoy más calladito. Me gustaría participar más, pero tal vez me da algunos tips, algunos consejos de qué poder hacer al, al final como para eh, eh, pues no rendirme ¿verdad? en el intento, porque eh, yo lo entiendo lo, lo que están diciendo, algunas palabras tal vez no, pero le doy sentido a la oración. Sin Ajá. embargo, la hora que yo quiero explicarme o expresarme eh, hay muchísimas palabras que cuando se las escucho pronunciar a alguien ya las conozco ahí esas palabras eh, digo pero no las tengo en mente tan fácilmente eh. no sé no sé si sea posible pues yes it is possible don't worry don't worry you can stay ok yes perfecto gracias ok eh, entonces este Luis nos quedamos con la Ivanka Bueno, pues yo ¿verdad? diría, ya conozco algo del banco, como le comentaba, trabajé con ellos hace... I'm working, teacher. I'm working this crime uh, commerce. Which online business have you chosen? Uh, I choose uh, pharmacy. Pharma value. Oh, okay. Yeah. They work online? Uh, yes, they have a app. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. All right, all right. Just monitoring, all right? What's going on? Keep working on it, okay? Uh, ex exchange the text. Exchange. When you're changing your, your product for other one, probably because it's damaged or you don't like the, you are not satisfied with the, with the product. So in this case, the disadvantages as you, as a seller, it could be the the the, the not dishonestidad or from the buyers. Yes, the 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 problem is that you 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 sell your product. You you um enviar. What is enviar? You send. you send. Yes, sorry. You send your product in good conditions in good time but the customer can say that you are not doing that and it for, for example for example he can um, ask the solution and you have to pay it yeah um let me let me see um dishonest dishonor Yes, dishonest. Dishonest. Yes. Oh, okay. Dishonest. Oh, hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, I'm here again. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Okay, well, I think uh, we're ready to, to, to present. All right, all right. That's okay. Thank you for, for working on it. Let me see what's going on with the other groups. Just practice, okay, and uh, just uh, conclude the ideas and get ready. Okay? Okay. Entonces, ese puesto como ejemplo. No sé si decía como, quiero ver... Solo dice que describa las ventajas del modelo de negocio para los consumidores. Es más, 
rápida, ¿verdad? Una ventaja es que... Quiero ver. Debe decir Las que transacciones todas las son más transacciones... rápidas. Se puede efectuar todo tipo de transacciones en línea. O sea, ahora se puede... Antes no se podía tramitar un préstamo en línea, no se podía tramitar una tarjeta de crédito. Ahora sí se puede solicitar una reposición. La facilidad de poder realizar cualquier tipo de trámite en línea. Uh -huh. Easier. Ok. ¿Qué otra ventaja como cliente? Tu dinero disponible donde quiera y cuando quiera. 24-7, 365 días al año. Uh -huh. Disponibilidad de dinero. En teoría, dicen los bancos, sin cobro de comisiones. ¿verdad? Me acaba. Siempre se inventan algún modo de cobrarle a uno algo. <risa> no, pero por ejemplo, las transfer 365 que... Eh, ah, que pero eso es porque de... eso es porque la ley los topó. Y... Sí, porque al bajar el BCR lo hizo, pero por ejemplo, antes sí, sí si cobraban cobran. comisión ajá, por ser interbancarias. Entonces, sí. y eso, y de hecho tardaban más con, con esta modalidad, sí, sí fue como más, más fácil, o sea, para el consumidor, o sea, súper ventajosa. Sí, la otra que estaba, no me acuerdo cómo se llama la otra. Transacción que, con la que iniciaron para transferencia entre bancos era la UNI. Ah, no, era la La otra. UNI. O la UNI, sí. Sí, sí, sí. pero son las dos transfers 365 y la UNI. Pero la, la UNI es la que cobra, creo yo. Todavía, transfer... esa la han dejado cobrando. Ajá. Por límite de montos, creo yo. Para, no, para empresa. Bueno. Bueno, quizás nos pasamos a las de ventaja, perdón. Con tres. Vaya. Disadvantage. Vaya, pero la desventaja decía que era para eh, business owners may face, may face if they apply it. Desventaja para los. Para los dueños del negocio que pudieran ajá, enfrentar si aplica. Puede, ajá, uh -huh. eh, desventajas para ellos. Eh, Híjole. Es la que me decía, este. Vaya. Le... Ah, la de... <ríe> Hay transacciones que se quedan en el aire, ¿va? <ríe> que no completan su, su, su transacción, no, no, su flujo. Vaya, ya, ya dijo, ya me dio la idea. Es eh, los reclamos que sufren por parte de, de las transacciones no realizadas satisfactoriamente, ¿verdad? El tráfico de llamadas o el... ¿Cómo lo podemos llamar? ¿Por transacciones? ¿Cómo me dijo? Por es... transacciones que no se realizaron satisfactoriamente. Uh -huh. O usted vea cómo lo traduce el inglés. Uh -huh. <risa> <risa> wow. Sí, no se me ocurre eso. Mm, no sé, me... Hi, are we ready over here? Guys, are we ready? Yes, but I can do the presentation. Only can half I a do? paragraph. Only half a paragraph. Okay, you can, you can read it, don't worry. And no? No, no, wait. It's gonna be in the main, in the main, uh, the main session. Session, okay. Hold on. That's good. Let me just check, check on the last group to see if they are done. If they're done, we're gonna go back to the main session. lot of claims for bad transaction. Si quieres, se lo leo. Vaya. Vaya. 
Maria Advantage. As a client, we can help our account through the electronic devices. Wait, no, falta una S. For example, for example, puse for example. <laughs> I can make an international transfer in minutes. Uh, the second is the transactions are faster and easier. Uh, okay. The third is availability of money 24 7. Uh, disadvantage a lot of claims for bad transactions, incomplete transactions, and network problems. Quizás sí. solo voy a especificar a ventajas para. Ajá. No, solo voy a, a especificar que ventajas como consumidor. Correcto. Consumer. Y la de ventajas sí, como a business owner. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we are. We are. So we have a, a dude. Yeah. Tenemos que hacer la presentación, ¿verdad? No, because we, we don't have a lot of time left. We only have 10 minutes. So ah, and, okay. And we're not going to ah, do okay, but... not going to do much with 10 minutes. We did so, it. Yes. As long as you share. Well, we we made it. Fine. Okay, thank you. So ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main session right now. Okay. Let's go back. I will see you back there. Bye. Hi everyone, we're back. All right. Nos cortaron la conversación. Yeah. Really, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, my bad, my bad. Okay. Uh we have three three groups. And uh let's let's begin with the group number three. It was uh Magdiel, Mauricio, Rafael, and Ronald. Guys, what do you have? Tell me. Don't worry if you didn't make the make the presentation. That's that's not a problem. We don't have a lot of time left, so. Okay, I just um, pharmacy, um, pharma value pharmacy, and. They have an app in order to offer their products and that and that does it easier. The consumers can find the products and see the prices and discounts. Also, the consumer choose the same in way. However, there are some disadvantages, for example, you have to spend around $18 to get the delivery service. Um, sometimes the branch is close to you, doesn't have the product what you need. You have to, you have to, to you have to go to the other branch, other branch. I, I think the this is a disadvantages. Only that, teacher. Okay, it's okay, my dear. Thank you for for sharing. All right, let's continue with uh, Luis, Mauricio, and Kathy. Okay, uh, we have presentation, but 
I think that we don't have enough time <laughs> to, to present. But uh, our example is uh, e-banking app. For example, when you have uh, e-banking of Agricola Bank in your phone. And one of the advantages as a cons consumer, uh, we talk about uh, the first, as a client, we can handle our account through the electronic devices. For example, I can make an international transfer in minutes. Uh, other one was the transactions are faster and easier. And the last one, availability avail of money 24-7. And disadvantage as a business owner, we have a lot of claims for back transactions, incomplete transactions, and network problems. Okay. Only that. And that's okay. That's okay. Thank you for sharing, Fabricio and Katia. Let's Thank continue you. with the other group. Uh, it was Diego, Eric, I think, and Emerson. Okay, so okay. we're talking about uh, AliExpress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If you want, ahead. if you want, uh, say the advantage, and I can say the disadvantage. Okay, I will say the advantage. Um, the advantage of using this uh, this e-commerce platform that it did allows to create user accounts in order to tracking all your sales. You had a, a, a car shop that you are saving, save all the your favorite goods that you want to buy later. And well, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of lower prices and you can, there's a good support where there's a, there's an issue pops up and then you can chat with the sellers if so many problem comes up. All right. Okay, for my part, the disadvantages, for example, um if you buy something, uh, you can you can see the pictures when you are buying, but when it's in your hands, it can be really different. And uh, for that reason, you 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 should read the 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 reviews from other customers uh, um, to know how much it um it is good um, and the other disadvantage is that um is that the time that you have to to wait here in a server to to receive your 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 products I, I don't remember I don't remember the other <laughs> <laughs> okay about well, the you. other one uh, probably... oh. okay okay no 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 problem nothing <laughs> all right all right okay thank you guys for sharing for working on the activity now uh do you have any last questions? Do you have any last questions? No. no. Okay, let me take attendance again. For today, I have a volunteer to stay. The person that is going to stay uh, right after class or in a couple of minutes is Luis Fabrizio Tovar. Okay, Luis, thank you, Luis. Okay, thank you. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Here, teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez is working, but she's here. Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Yes, thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Here. Thank you. Julissa Amiglet Villalta. She was here, but as a listener. So her somewhere. Okay. Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. 
Oh, Carl Ivania, sorry. Carl Ivania and Naya, yes, también está acá. Es Hello, Fabricio Tobar. Thank you, thank you. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Magdiel Saúl García. Present. Thank you, Marilyn Alejandra Grande. No. Mario Ernesto Ramírez was as a listener today. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Thanks. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Here. Thank you. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. Who's not here? Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. Present. Thank you. All right. Guys, uh, thank you for being here today. We're going to continue tomorrow. Thank you for joining. And well, I wish you a good night. Sleep well. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Yes. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for the class. Bye. No problem. Yes. No problem. Thank you. Good, good, bye -bye. good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night, class. Still, yeah, I don't know what's going on. He's asleep. Maybe so. Okay, but she's not here. Tell me. In English? Yes, in English. <laughs> All right. Think? I'll try. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of my principal, or I don't know how to say it, main, uh, main problems is uh, the, the vocabulary. It's mm -hmm. not to too why I don't... Uh, I don't know too too many words uh, like the other um, classmates. That's uh, a reason for uh, uh, do not participate too much. Okay. Um, I want okay. um well in the in the proof uh, at the beginning uh, that you sent me at the my mail. I understand. I understood uh, the text. Uh, se me es más fácil en español explicárselo. Entendí okay. todo, pero eh, a la hora de, por ejemplo, hay palabras que yo no las entiendo, pero como le comentaba, eh, al resto de la oración lo entiendo y alguna palabra no la entendí, le doy el sentido. Entonces, okay. en ese nivel estaba y yo incluso hice la consulta. Mira, le digo, yo entendí eso, pero eh, ya para sostener una conversación fluida, bueno, pero me voy a encender la cámara porque ya está, para que nos podamos ver conversando frente a frente. Sí. Este es el problema, yo nunca jamás he practicado, yo solo desde que estudié inglés en el colegio hace un uh, buen rato, sí. eh, no he vuelto a practicar, yo canto canciones en inglés porque me gusta y el inglés siempre me ha gustado y mi meta es aprender a hablarlo. Ahí estoy en, en Duolingo también antes de estar aquí en, en el curso batallando con eso. Eh, creo que en la pronunciación no me va tan mal. No sé si me equivoque. No. 
Eh, pero el problema es ese, a veces yo no sé cuándo usar eh, eh, los auxiliares o los verbos, no sé cómo le llaman eso, de have to, have, eh, y, y eso me dificulta a mí como que construir la oración. No sé de dónde pudiera yo apoyarme porque no quiero, eh, de entrada me dijeron, no, mira, ahí, ahí vayas en eso, porque yo les dije, mire, yo lo entiendo, pero ya a la hora de conversar, si es solo inglés, voy a tener problemas. Eh, no, ahí quédese ahí va, va a aprender cosas nuevas ok, acepto el reto y, y encantado porque como le comento el inglés a mí me, me gusta pues y yo hago lo que puedo eh, aparte después que me desconecto acá sigo con Duolingo eh, frases que de repente se me vienen a la mente que no sé cómo se dicen utilizo el traductor de Google problema que a veces no no lo traduce tan, hoy ha mejorado pero a veces no lo traduce tan como en el lenguaje común y corriente de todos los días, ¿verdad? Ese es el problema, y me gustaría, me encanta la idea de participar, y yo quiero hablarlo, quiero eh, quitarme ese miedo, porque la verdad, eh, desde que me conecté ayer, han sido nervios y todo, pues, pero he estado acostumbrado a, a, a enfrentar retos, y eso no me da problema, lo que me da problema también, pues, es, es que quiero avanzar, pero no sé en esa parte, no me puedo poner a buscar en el diccionario o las palabras en orden, ¿verdad? y me las aprendiendo todas, sino que dónde encontrar, por ejemplo, ejemplos de una conversación, de expresiones idiomáticas, eh, no sé, el, el, el uso de lo que le comentaba, el how to, el, bueno, eh, sí sé distinguirlo cuando es how, eh, por los pronombres, cuando se utiliza el, el has, el how, igual el do, el das, pero en qué momento se utilizan, hay veces que yo creo que no debería llevarlo y resulta que... Eh, eh, por ejemplo, en Duolingo aparece que sí lo lleva. Esas cosas son las que a mí me dan. Eh, quizás no tengo mucho de gramática, a pesar que la profesora que tuve en el Liceo Salvadoreño en aquel entonces era una señora que hablaba tres idiomas y hablaba muy bien, era una, una señora mayor. Pero solo fue un par de años que lo que aprendí fue la base, fue con ella. Y eso, con eso me he quedado hasta hoy, después que, como le comento, he estado con, con lo de Duolingo. No sé qué hacer para no tanto hacer el ridículo, pues, porque se supone que estamos aprendiendo y si alguien se burlara, pues, a mí no me importará eso, pero para avanzar, eso es lo que, lo que yo quiero, ¿verdad? Que donde pudiera, eh, incluso por eso solicité los cursos anteriores, pero igual venían desde el avanzado 4 para acá. Igual cuando una vez me hicieron una prueba también para un curso de Insaforp en el Centro Cultural, igual me dijeron que estaba en un nivel intermedio. Eh, le digo, lo entiendo más de lo que lo, y quizás lo escribo mejor de lo que lo puedo ordenar en mi cabeza, eso me cuesta, como dicen, no pienso, no puedo pensar en inglés, tengo que pensar en español, eh, buscar la palabra, y a veces no me acuerdo, y tal vez son palabras que sí ya conozco, o sea, ¿qué pudiera hacer para, para mejorar eso? ¿Alguna bueno, idea? Iniciamos, vamos, vamos a ver, aquí voy a mostrar, comparto una pantalla para que más o menos, yo soy un poco organizado con, con con algunas cosas y lo que usted sí. podría hacer es lo siguiente en un cuaderno aparte que lo puede comprar uh -huh. aquí lo tengo ya aquí estoy con, con mi cuadernito ¿eh? ok, haga lo siguiente está por en una parte haga un cuadrito o, o crea un listado de palabras nuevas nuevas uh -huh. podría ser desde de, palabras de la 1 hasta el número 15. 15 palabras. Uh -huh. O si quiere, inicie con 10. Luego le pone 15 y luego 20. ¿Okay? Acá en la parte de arriba, lo que debe hacer es buscar una estructura gramatical. Son 14 en inglés, estructuras. Uh -huh. Presente, pasado, futuro, progresivo, uh, pasado progresivo, entre, entre muchas más que hay. Busque, busque okay. el, el listado de, de estructuras en Google y elija solamente una. Y con esa estructura practique tres o cuatro días hasta que la maneje bien completa. Uh -huh. pie, de pie a cabeza. Usando, usando las 15 palabras que están acá. Okay. Por ejemplo, coloquemos acá presente progresivo. Present progressive. Coloquemos acá unos, 
no, cuatro o cinco verbos, let's say, let's say dance. Uh, number two, let's choose sleep. Three, go, four, four. Yeah, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Die. Five. He colocado cinco verbos. Aún mm -hmm. le quedan diez palabras más que agregar. Lo que puede agregar ahí son otras palabras que no sean verbos. Diferente. Con referencia a, a los verbos que están acá, pero que no sean verbos. Para que varíe el vocabulario, o sea repetitivo, con el mismo, mismo vocabulario, que sea repetitivo. Sí. Y acá tiene el enfoque. Lo que tiene acá es presente progresivo. Lo que puede hacer acá, o colocar la definición, it is. Ok. It expresses actions in progress. Expresa acciones que están en progreso. Esa es la función de la estructura, presente progresivo. Luego puede colocar qué se usa en, ese, en esa estructura. Y se usa el verbo be. En sus, en sus tres componentes. El am, el is y el are. Uh -huh. okay. Luego puede construir oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Por ejemplo, I am going to the, to the store. Estoy yendo a la tienda. I am going to the store. Coloque varios ejemplos con... con Uh, with I, you, with uh, we, with she, he, or specific names, we are, sí. o contractado también, contracted, we are <laughs> sleeping, no, we're dancing, so we're dancing right now. Estamos bailando en este momento, en este momento, estamos bailando en este momento. We're dancing right now, or Peter and Kathy, are sleeping in the right now hammock. Okay. Look at that. Peter and Kathy are sleeping in the hammock. Hammock amaka. Amaka. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the affirmative form. Luego puse el negativo. You are not Dying your hair. You are not dying your hair. Die, teñir. Teñir. Mm -hmm. Right? Teñir. That's what it is. Mauricio is not, excuse me, is not typing anything. Mauricio no está escribiendo nada. Mauricio is not typing anything. Then you can continue with questions. Is she? Is she? For you, is the moment. Is, she, is she dancing right now? Okay, is she dancing right now? She dancing right now. Is Juan working? Working? In the office, is Juan working in the office? Y luego lo que puede hacer es leerlos a voz alta, mm -hmm. leerlos en voz alta. Pero acá, acá le he puesto bien básico, le he puesto bien básico. Lo que usted debe hacer es retarse usted mismo sí, sí, sí. con palabras mucho más rebuscadas. Acá dance, sleep, go y type, y type son verbos muy comunes, sencillos. Sí. Lo que usted debe hacer es poner verbos un poco más, más más rebuscados. Ah, más complicados, más complicados. O que no maneje muy bien o que no sepa. O que no sepa. Además, hay verbos que tienen varios significados. Hay muchos, muchos. Sí, sí depende cómo se usa en, en, dentro de la oración, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, 
tres días con esta estructura, tres días, dos o tres días, para que la maneje muy bien, para que la maneje muy bien. La estudia en su casa, a tiempo aparte, la puede escribir en un cuaderno y luego andela acá, practicando, en la mente. Cualquier okay. cosa que esté haciendo, hágala acá en su mente, pensando en, en esta estructura. Por ejemplo, si va para el trabajo, en el bus o en el carro o en, la, en, el, en, el, en una moto, usted pie, vaya pensando en la en esta estructura. Present progressive. Y dice, hey, she is having breakfast. He is walking. He is riding a motorcycle. He is driving. He is speaking. Pero acá en su mente. Correcto, sí, mente, sí, sí. En su mente. Y realmente eso funciona bastante. Funciona bastante. Sí. Funciona. Bueno, a mí me emocionaba mucho esta, 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 esta estrategia, digamos. Ahora, otra que podría practicar o que podría poner en práctica es aprender palabras diarias. Puede elegir lo mismo entre tres a cuatro palabras diarias, escribirlas en un cuaderno y andarlas en su bolsillo, en su trabajo. Y cada vez que pueda sacarlas, las ve, las repite, las piensa y guarda la bolsa, la, la guarda otra vez. Y así. Y sigue, y uh -huh. sigue. Quizá, quizá no las aprenda todas. Porque es imposible. Sí, ah, es un montón. Acá, acá, aquí tengo 15, mire, 15. Puede que de esas 15 se aprenda 3, 4, 3, algo. Es un avance. Es un avance. O sea, 3 o 4 es, es un avance significativo, la verdad. Entonces, después de que ya maneje esta estructura, cámbiese a otra estructura, con otro vocabulario, ya sea en pasado o en futuro, y así va poco a poco uh, practicando las estructuras y nuevo vocabulario, de un solo, de un solo. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama eh, las palabras esas que le comentaba? Son eh, eh, have y, y, y have, son verbos que se llaman auxiliares o qué son esos? No, have and has son, es, bueno, más, que, más bien have. Have to es una, la, la, es have to, have to. Have, have to y has, has, sí, sí, sí. Que se, usa, que se usa para expresar necesidad o obligación personal. Ok. Para eso se usan, have to y has to. Ok. Voy a comenzar con esto y, y eh, pues quería explicarle eso nada más, ¿verdad? que yo no me voy a echar para atrás. Lo más que puede pasar no, eso, es que al final me eso, digan... Y eso es, está bien, y eso está bien. La motivación es, la, es, la, es, la, es, una, la, es lo mejor que puede haber, la motivación. Lo más que puede pasar es que me digan, no, mire, usted estaba para un nivel intermedio uno tal vez y pues bueno. No se preocupe, con... no se preocupe. Pues para mí está bien, está bien, va bien, va bien. El punto es practicarlo, que no le dé pena practicarlo. Porque de la práctica nace el maestro practicando. Cuando yo inicié a trabajar en una academia, una academia privada en 2016, yo, igual que usted, podía escribirlo, entenderlo bastante bien al escucharlo o leerlo, pero cuando era de hablarlo, no era muy, muy fluido mi inglés. Uh -huh. Lo hablaba bastante bien, bastante bien, pronunciación y todo, pero no había mucha fluidez. Me quedaba pensando o no podía, no podía decir algunas cosas. Pero estar ahí en ese lugar, practicaba todos los días. Todos los días. Y ahora pues ya no, ya no me quedo atrás, no me quedo atrás. Así que tiene que practicarlo más seguido. Aunque sí, sea a, veces, a veces, hasta cuando me... No, eso le iba a decir que a veces me estoy bañando yo y me invento una conversación yo solo y de repente topo porque hay una palabra de esto, como se dice, y después vengo y la busco, ¿eh? Eso está bien, eso está bien, eso está bien. Lo mismo en las letras de las canciones en inglés, lo que yo no sé para qué significa, eh, descargo la letra, al final me las aprendo porque me gustan las canciones, y si algo no lo entiendo, eh, busco el significado también, el traductor, vean. Sí, sí. Este, okay. Vea videos en cualquier red social, vea videos en inglés, de vocabulario, de cosas que ellos hagan, usted ponga atención a lo que están diciendo. Uh -huh. lo que ellos digan y trate de repetirlo de repetirlo yo vi una serie que se llama Friends creo que la conoce se llama Friends la serie Friends, la sí. he visto 
la he visto como seis veces de, de, de principio a fin. Son, uh, no recuerdo cuántos episodios, son un montón de episodios. Pero tantas veces que lo vi y de que le, le ponía oído a, la, a lo que decían, me sé casi, casi, no, no todo lo, 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 lo que dicen, pero quizás, pero quizás me sé el 20% de todo, de todo la serie, 20% de lo, de lo que dicen, lo que okay. van a decir, por repetirlo, 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 lo he memorizado. Y realmente esa serie que se llama Friends es muy, muy buena para, para, para el inglés, para pulirlo, para pulirlo. Es serie clásica, pero trata de, de cosas que hacemos todos los días. Uh -huh. Eso ayuda un montón. A mí me, me ayudó bastante la, la serie esa, en pulirlo, cosas que no, no, que no como, como decir cosas que no podía decir, ahí las aprende rápidamente en esa serie. La voy a buscar también. Sí, ok, búsquela, perfecto. También. Vaya, este, de ahí solo eso, pues, y, y, y les disculpa cuando la riegue, porque la voy a regar, porque la voy a regar, pero... No hay ningún problema, no hay ningún problema, es parte del proceso. Ok. Parte del proceso. Así es. Bueno, le agradezco, y, y el tiempo también, pues, y, y los consejos que ya, ya los tengo anotados ahí para empezar a hacerlo desde ahora. Perfecto. Un placer, Fabricio. Gracias. Buenas noches. Bueno. Gracias, igual, entonces, cuídense mucho. Gracias, gracias. See you tomorrow.